Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, absolute classic for you today. The single stroke roll samba. I use this all over the place whenever you want a sort of party samba style uh, vibe. I use this for fills and for solos in a big way. And you know when they go, uh, introducing the band now on drums, Mike or whoever, and you're like, ah, what am I going to play? And I just remember like being younger and never knowing quite what to do on that bit. I actually lean on this quite a lot uh, there, especially when it's a sort of gig where it's like a, a party vibe. It just seems to fit so well. Uh, single stroke roll samba goes like this. And so on. Uh, it's simpler than it sounds, really. Really, what it boils down to is the surdo uh, kick drum part, uh, named after the surdo drum. One, two, and three, four, and 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 one. Stick in the hi hat. One, two, and three, four, and one. That's your first job. Your next job is to sync up the single stroke roll with it, like without any accents or anything, just a regular quiet single strokes. So one, two, three, four, one, two, single strokes, one and two and three and four. So that accent pattern, and if you need some more stuff about playing accents within um, single stroke rolls, I've got loads, I'll link to all those in the description below. This is just an accent, and yet again, an accent pattern within a single stroke roll goes. So you play right, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, right. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and so two bar phrase one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and now obviously if you're playing single stroke roll your lead hand will play the ones on the beat your left hand will play the ones on the and or your not lead hand will play the ones on the and so one two three and four and one and two and three and four and I'll take you through the stages again. Surdo kick. One, two, three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and add in the hi-hat. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and, one, three, four and unaccented single strokes, eighth notes. One, Um, it, some things that, like as ever with these, it depends where you're at with your drumming. You might just hear that and go, yeah, cool, that's completely fine. Some people struggle with the initial foot pattern. And in particular, syncing it with the, with the, uh, with the sticks. That really is a case of just going slow. If you're right-handed like me, playing a right-hand lead single stroke roll, the bass drums will sync with left, right. Left, right, as you play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, left, right. You're getting that so your kick is sinking with left, right as you play and one and two and three and so on. That's stage one. If you've got to that point, uh, you might then put in the accents and it's fine. Or again, that might be tricky, putting the accent pattern in. So with the accent pattern, um, one way to do it is to add an accent at a time. I'll do that for you now. So say that you're here. Unaccented. First accent. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. On the one, two, three, four, one. We'll slow it down a bit. One, two, three. 
Okay, the next one is on the two. Two, three, four. Next one's on the and of beat three. One and two and three and. Another one on the and of beat four. One, two and three and four and. Another lefty on the and of beat one. One back to the right stick. On the three, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. And the last one. Three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four. Two, three, four. Pick it up a bit. And so, and obviously, once you've got the hang of it, uh, you can just uh, play around with it. The accent, the accent pattern is a thing called the partido aldo. But, 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 but for a lot of the, depending on where you're using it, assuming you're not playing like authentic uh, you know, samba band, assuming you use this in a sort of um, soloistic uh, context or just jamming with it, uh, you can, of course, change the accent pattern up, move it around the kit. Thanks for watching, as always. See you soon.